In today's video, we are reviewing the spring 2024 trends according to Glamour. And you might be thinking, who the fuck are we to, <laughs> to be judging? Judge. We are nobodies. We have no affiliation to the fashion industry. We are cautious consumers. Mm -hmm. The we, only thing we have is our opinion. That's it. We sometimes fall into trends, but I would say most of the time we are very immune. immune proof. Don't take this video <laughs> to heart. If we don't like the trends and you do, don't take what we say to heart. Yeah. We still love you. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching and clicking. Please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out so much and it is free. But if you are a returning viewer, let's kiss them on the forehead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you might be wondering who this bitch is. Hello, my name is Tiff and I've known Sav since we were little kids. We met in kindergarten and we've just been besties ever since. Let's get started. Okay, the first trend we see in this article are fringe. And what do we think about this? I like it. I haven't seen it a lot, honestly. So I guess it's an emerging thing, but it's very cowboy to me, which I like. The past few years have been cowboy trends. Like people would walk around in cowboy boots like me and they've <laughs> never ridden a horse. And I like the way that fringe moves sometimes. I think it depends on the quality too. Like does it move with your body or against your body? It's like extensions, but on your body. Oh my God. <laughs> like <clip> in. <laughs> Wasn't fringe popular years ago? It was. I think I read in the article, they said it's like boho so like kind of Coachella-esque you know oh, so it's like very oh Vanessa Hudgens like going to Coachella but... all right millennials time to pull out your time fringe. to shine <laughs> yeah. okay number two is rich burgundy not poor burgundy <laughs> but rich burgundy it's Nepo, baby. this is something that it was a play off of like the cherry red I really like cherry red I love that color I like this color too I feel like it doesn't look that nice on apparel that's not leather because I think it just looks <gasps> maroon. Is maroon body. burgundy? I think they are. But like, I feel like it just look. it's reminiscent of 2016. Oh my God, If it's yeah. not on leather. That's true. You know what? I have a lot of stuff that's burgundy. We're seeing that a lot of millennial trends are coming back. Coming back. I like Do it. you like that? I like I like it. You know what? Rewire your stuff, I guess. Yeah, and mind you, me and Tiff fall on the cusp of Gen Z and millennials. So we have every right to judge both oh. generations. <laughs> Suck. Okay, third on the list is girl core, which is very broad. But what they mean is coquette, coquette Harajuku girls, Lolita, Lolitas, Harajuku. but a more modern version of it. Mm. And I feel like I first saw this with Gabby DiMartino's fancy vlogs, like that bitch with a twin. She has like a punk rock sister. So cute. But yes, what do we think? I think it's a bit not overdone, but I feel like it's the aesthetic of it all is just spread too much through social media. Are very easily to replicate so got cheapened a little bit sometimes the, the bows and the flowers added on to the dress or top or clothing are such an afterthought oh what a nice top let's just stick on a bow just onto it girly fancy club does it the best did it the best first i think loewe did it the best first loewe's one is nice it was mostly roses it, there was a monstera high heel shoe that they had you mentioned that it looked like the Rainforest Cafe. It was, it was just too cartoonish. And I saw it half off that whole rent room. So I guess it's not doing well. These trends only really work if the flower is sturdy, if it's good quality. This is a trend where Gen Alpha is going to look at Gen Z and be like, they were so corny back yeah. in the day with their... <laughs> rosette and bow. modern girls also retweeted a tweet that was like bow ties like the very thinner the thin bow ties are gonna be like the mustaches of 2020 yeah but it's cute though i like them for now i saw this girl on tiktok she made like a flower rosette dress but with like lays from the dollar store that are like several different colors yeah and it looked like shit i remember i sent it to you i cannot find the tiktok <laughs> for my life she glued it on to her dress her tube top dress and she's like isn't it so cute and i'm like no you ruined the fit or maybe the, that just didn't pair up because i saw some girl put some orchids on her like her heels similar to the Louisville heel i guess but it looks so good and so classy i think it needs to be good quality like yeah. i don't think that it can be fit the vibe. party lays yeah you can't just you stick find them on everything store. stop putting bows on everything guys oh my god imagine like you find this top and it's so cute but it has a fucking bow on it take it off it's like it's giving forever 21 in graphic print it's cute for what it is but 
Not too much. I don't think I'll be participating in this trend. Maybe the rosettes at most. I can see that. That this is like the rosettes are McGrown. The next on the list is athletic prep. The article says that Mimu has a big influence on this trend. Mimu has been becoming so popular over the last few years. It has made fashion's hottest brands on the list index every single quarter last year. It's so crazy because Prada is Mimu's older sister. Like it, Mimi is supposed to be cheaper. The, those brands go hand in hand, but Mimi is like the little sister. She's supposed to be cheaper, but the prices are so expensive still, in my opinion. It's probably the need. They're probably seeing that people want the stuff. I find their stuff a lot cuter than Prada these days. I remember Mimi back in the day, too. They're really cute. Cheaper, too. Yeah. Back to athletic prep. I feel like this trend has never really left. Back in the day, we saw a lot of very baggy blazers, people wearing it with leggings and like, you know, a tight top. In this article, we see a lot of tighter clothing, a lot of shorter clothing. Mm -hmm. I don't see this trend ever going. I just see variations of this trend. Everyone wants to look like they go to the country club, so. Once the movie The Challenger comes out with Zendaya, who I love. It looks hot. I bet you tennis core is gonna come back. And even though I don't know how athletic prep and tennis core match i just feel like they do i feel like it's very country rich, club country i feel like club. yeah rich yeah. people play tennis so it's once that movie thing. comes out everyone's gonna be bringing out their mini skirts. everyone's gonna be playing tennis mm -hmm. and it helps and having three <laughs> <laughs> it helps that zendaya is a fashion icon everyone's gonna be mimicking all her outfits in that movie what's her Is that brooch law Roach Law, he's great. And there was like a quote from him. We don't borrow, we buy. Oh, that's great. You're buying our kind of <laughs> yeah. Statement belts. That's the next one on the list. Not Gucci belts, not the, the GG belts. Oh, I was so I close to buying them. I'm so happy I didn't, but no, not those type of belts. It's more like ones that have funky like chunky structure. chunky and funky and like... You know, I think it's very reminiscent of back in the day of 20, 2010s or whatever. Mm -hmm. Girls would just wear a dress and like a big chunky belt just with more layers this time. Yes. And I actually bought a belt from a thrift store that was like the Catwoman ring belt. It just, it was so cute. It was 10 bucks. I was inspired by Catwoman. I didn't know about this trend and I'm excited to wear it this year. So number six is animal print. We're going back to the Jersey Shore mm -hmm. days. <laughs> Snooki is now waking up from her, actually, I don't know where she sleeps, but she is like Mariah Carey every time Christmas comes around. This trend really reminds me of Lisa Rinna because what they have listed here in the pictures is very tight, a lot of leopard print. Mm -hmm. Very like, it's like money. You got a money leopard print. Not yeah. like any leopard print. Yes, like the Dolce Gabbana leopard print. There's some examples of giraffe here. Oh, I like giraffe. That's really cute. She's wearing leopard print too on her head. This was not planned. They also mentioned that this is an effect from Mob Wife. Mob Wife aesthetic. I've never watched The Sopranos. Yeah, I didn't watch The Sopranos either. Does Camilla wear leopard print? Furs, yes. But leopard print, I don't know. Next on the list is sky blue. Are we going to a baby shower? <laughs> I don't like this color. It's very, it's like Cinderella-y. Maybe because gender reveals ruined it for me. So I hate like the baby blue. But and baby pink on the girl other hand. Pink. <laughs> I like baby pink. Next is Disco Inferno. So a lot of inspiration from the 80s. I like it to a certain extent. I don't know like, I don't like it when it crosses the line between like 80s disco and then like alien inspired. Oh my God, when you put it in that way, I don't think I like you it. Anyway. <laughs> But mm -hmm. I did, I did, we did discuss sequins, which I do like. Like very Beyonce Renaissance. The the shiny le faux leather sometimes material. It's a step away from galaxy print. Yeah. Okay. Now you kind of ruined it for me. Sorry. I don't think sequins is practical though, because it is so easy for the sequins to fall out. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I have a sequins Fendi Nano handbag. handbag. And I've only worn it a handful of times and the sequence starts falling out. And the Fendi sales associate got mad at me for coming back twice. They were like, oh, it's gonna fall out? Yeah, she's like, it's gonna fall out if you wear it a lot. And I'm like, I only wore it six times and I came twice. I went in there twice. I don't even wear it anymore because I'm too scared, but I love it. But I do like the iridescent kind of trend of the 80s though. Keep toe sandals, number oh, nine. I hate it, I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate it because you have to do your toes and I never do my toes. <laughs> I hate like the hooves. The hooves of it all? Oh, like the mules. Yeah. Oh, like when you see the little toes come out. 
Like, what do you want to be? Just paint your one big toe. I know, but it's like, you got to commit to either or. Do you want to cover the toes? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to show the toes? I think this is just the next evolution of a mule, you know? Like, small, now they're getting bigger. I don't know. Okay, I don't know if I love it. But we'll see how it manifests over the year. I'm open to changing my mind about any of these trends. I just need to see something that convinces me. Next on the list are non-basic basics. So the examples in the Glamour article are a lot of just basics, but they're just a little bit elevated, which I really, really enjoy. So like Sap said before, um, it, there are a lot of cutouts and low cut silhouettes. There's a lot of structure. And I really like this trend because it allows your personal style to shine and it's the most sustainable. So you're always going to use a blazer. You're always going to use a top to wear to like the office or whatever, or like things you can interchange in your life. I also like some of the silhouettes. I love this oversized jumper from bali that they use as an example and i also really like the stella mccartney one like it's a great play on a blouse a white blouse it gives an extra like extra spice to your outfit but this article is so weird because the high-end fashion items are giving i love it and then you scroll down <laughs> to what they recommend you buy that are so much cheaper from j crew and abercrombie and it's like i'm so sorry you had to choose those items They're yeah just like, it's just a t-shirt it's just like, yeah a long sleeve it's just jeans you know when you're like going skiing and you're wearing like it's a long john the glamour editor for this article needs to step it up because i bet you there's a lot of better fast fashion like alternatives oh yeah. yeah 11 are graphic stripes and the bold looking stripes they either go horizontal or vertical with like big color just very like popping out in your eye which i like i like it i like it too i think that they have a lot of longevity I think stripes have been in trend for a while, but because they're so loud and big, it could potentially date you a little bit further on. It's a trend. I would argue differ, but <laughs> that's that's my that's opinion. opinion. Yeah. <laughs> like the average stripes on sweaters have been a thing for a while. Mm -hmm. I do like, I really like how it looks. And like, I think it makes you stand out. It makes you look mature. I feel like this and other stories relax collared sweater that they use as an example to purchase that is gonna be the gen z sweater where gen alpha is gonna be like oh you're, you're such a gen z i think <laughs> but i love it i love it I think it's practical it's cute office wear whatever next on the list is sheer layering i personally really 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 like it i i, I like how you can layer stuff under it but that's also another struggle because you can never really know what to wear underneath mm -hmm. like what do you do about your nipples that's my biggest do you wear a bra sometimes that doesn't look good and sheer is just a layering i don't think it's going to be a statement piece mm -hmm. i want to like this trend it is difficult there's a lot of thought into it like do i have to wear a matching set mm -hmm. like underneath yeah it can be chilly sometimes mm -hmm. to wear mesh or when it's hot it's like polyester so it's just oh like... my god yeah i've sweat yeah it on i do like it i want to like it i just don't know if it likes me so what we have next is subversive office wear so it looks like just blazers and pantsuits which just cut out in different kind of shapes and styles my first thought is just it's not very practical <laughs> at all and especially if you're a girl boss in a man's world i think you have to be really careful about i do like this trend i just don't know where you would want to wear it you can't wear it to the office because some They'd be like where's the rest of your shirt <laughs> yeah who wants to wear a suit to brunch either or who wants to wear it's like a millennial vibe oh my god wearing a suit to go clubbing to club. gen z please don't bring that shit back you scroll down to the recommended places to get it for a cheaper price they show a mango blazer and a Zara waist pants, and it just looks so regular degular. I don't know if this is subversive office wear. Final category is 80s excess, and I really like this. It's very reminiscent of Grace Jones, bold silhouettes. There's like the head wrap they give in the example, and it's just so slinky and sexy. To pull this off, you just have to be a bold person. Like you can't be like following all the trends. Like, I feel like this is definitely gonna be a trend where not many people are gonna follow because of how bold it is. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching it all the way through. Let me know your thoughts. What do you like? What do you don't like? If you don't agree with us, mm -hmm. let me know. Let's start an argument. Let's beef in the comments. Thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Love ya. Bye. <laughs>